Men du skal ikke få lov at du er kommet af. Hvad er det, du er kommet af? 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 Hvad er det, So today we will learn how to implement the grid view and the staggered grid view. So in the grid view the items are arranged in the following manner. So if the one item is larger than the other item there will be a space formed between this other two items whereas in the staggered grid view even if the item is larger than the other item in a row there will be a no space in the column and they will be arranged like this now let's try to implement this in android studio first we need to create a menu resource folder as as we selected the empty activity while selecting the project so go to resource new android resource directory and i will name it as menu and resource type will be menu ok now right click on the menu and create a menu resource file so i will name it as main menu ok so now we want three items to be displayed here so one is linear another one is grid and the final one is staggered grid view so first we'll create one item and i will name it as view as and i will give the id for it view show as action if room so what this show as action does is so if there is any place in the toolbar it will make this view as visible here otherwise it will be in the form of a menu options like this so we want it on the toolbar then we'll create a menu which contains our three items so one is linear and I'll give an ID for it as linear then another item I will name it as grid and ID for it is grid and the final one is staggered I'll give an ID for it staggered now I'll go to main activity as this is an empty activity we, we need to override two methods here so first one is on create options menu and the next one is on options item selected so we'll remove this return method here so get menu inflated dot inflate we, we need to inflate the menu resource file we just created so it is in menu main menu so menu dot main menu and we should pass the name of the menu here so in, in this case it is menu and we will return true now here we should define what happens when the item is clicked I will assign the item dot get item ID to integer data type so integer ID equals item dot get item ID if id equals r dot id dot linear so if it is linear it should be the default state which is recycle view dot set layout manager new linear layout manager this next if id equals 
r dot id dot grid so now we have to use the grid layout manager so grid layout manager i will name it as grid layout manager equals new grid layout manager and we need to pass two parameters here so one is context which is this and the span count how many items should be in a particular row and i will give us two recycle view dot set layout manager grid layout manager finally st staggered grid layout manager so r dot id dot staggered staggered grid layout manager equals new staggered grid layout manager will pass two parameters here so one is the span count i'll give us two and orientation is vertical so you can give horizontal here as is the simple example i will be using the vertical so recycler view dot set layout manager staggered grid layout manager now we will run this project and let's check whether it works or not i forgot to mention that i have made a uh, certain changes in the layout design.xml file as you can see here it is completely changed i will provide the code which will be in the description you can check out that link so this is the linear layout now we will select the grid view as you can see here the item of the inbox is larger than the other item in its row so there will be a space in the column now we will check out this for staggered grid and as you can see it covers this space now we will try to create on item click listener so go to my adapter and open this layout design so inside this cardio there is a linear layout so if you click on that it should say that you have clicked on this item and its position number so we'll go to my adapter and here private linear layout and I will name it as linear layout so linear layout equals type cast it linear layout item view dot find view by id r dot id dot linear layout so now go to on point view older so older dot linear layout dot set on click listener new on click listener will make a toast saying you have clicked on position so toast you have clicked and the position here is this position plus position now let's run this and set it now if you click on this it will say you clicked on zero you have clicked one we'll go to grid and do the same you clicked on zero clicked on two and you have clicked on five this is one of the method to implement the set on click listener and there are many other ways and that's it guys hope you like this video hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel